called him in tears and said, you have to come home. You have to come home. You have to come home. I'm going to kill these kids. Mason's blood sugar is up in the almost 300s and is staying there, which is a key sign that he's sick, by the way. He's not listening to me. We have to take him into the doctor. I didn't have any plans today except for school stuff. Ren and brought home all the groceries, got those put away. Now we have to go to the doctor, 3 p.m., and take all the kids' medications up to school before Lindsay, the, the amazing nurse, leaves. So my day flipped on its head. Bummer. Yeah, that's where I think he's going for now. It reminded me of the, he looked like, it remind me of the, the cartoon movie. Uh, Turkey Run. Turkey Run. Run. Is that what it's called? Owen Wilson did the voice for the turkey. Brandon just went to get the nurse so we can count out all the pills. Four bottles. Mm -hmm. So we just spent the last 45 minutes trying to figure out, cause Lindsay, the nurse, well, all of the nurses need the bottles at the school. We can't keep the medicine in the bottles at home because she needs the bottles. And I forget the month before school starts to keep the old ones. So we have to find, we have to organize all of the medications together. And it took us what, like 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. yeah, we'll Brandon we'll spent all night in the world's worst. Well, I can't say that. I'm sure there are way worse hospitals, but a really bad one. Well, I gotta say like the ER waiting room. I would say. I but mean, you I know... spent how many hours sitting in there? Well, no, that's expected. The system's broken. No, uh, yeah, that's expected. Everything was expected except for the dirty, unorganized. Nowhere to sit. Uh, waiting. Brandon couldn't even get ice for his dad, who had a catheter that was coiled up into his bladder, causing all kinds of horrific pain. And uh, he couldn't even get ice because there was nobody tissues. there but a receptionist. He couldn't get tissues no for his dad to wipe his nose. No I mean. No, just, I mean, what if someone was dying? Uh, yeah, the doctor and nurses made up for the crappy waiting room. So how many hours were you in the waiting room? It was like, there's bugs crawling on me. I feel it. Five hours in the waiting room. So you got back to the room. So your dad sat there in five more hours of pain, which is what bugs me the most. Well, he had to walk around. I know, right? I know. Yeah, because he was in so much pain. I mean, they said, after he was triaged, they said they would get some urine from him. That never happened. They never came back. <laughs> they never hooked him up to anything. They pulled his catheter and they the found out room. it was, was three hours in the waiting room. a mess inside of him. And he had like, what did you say? 1,200 cc's of urine because nobody would believe him that he wasn't going. It was a rough night, let's just say that. But the doctor was amazing, Brandon said, like all kinds of amazing. So the other part of my wicked horrible day is that I'm having major, major allergy issues and I can't take any kind of allergy pill because on the 23rd of this month, I have to go be tested for allergies on everything. I think I just saw the door. I have to be tested for celiacs mostly, but um, seasonal, oh, maybe I'm wrong. Seasonal allergies and, and milk and dairy and, and, and fructose again. I have to be tested for all that. So you're not allowed to take any kind of antihistamine for five weeks before you go do that. They also told me, we're sure you don't care about getting blood all over and that your appointment will be at the very least two hours long being stuck with needles. So, yay. What did you say last night? Man, this year has sucked for you. No, for you, yeah. Yeah, for me. Brandon's like, man, this year has just killed you. He goes, I thought last year was bad. Then you weren't to school. I know. Still alive. Are we sure? What do we do here? Keep No. So we wait five minutes and I go back up there. Yeah, and I don't even know if she's here. Brandon just said this is what happens at the ER. Or you can call. My eyes are literally school. swelling up. I see a tarp, uh, like a, a barn with a tarp a couple of over there. You got your mask on? I can't see anything. Yeah, I better not try to see 
Not good for you. You should get your eyes checked before we leave town too. I got, I got eagle vision. Brandon, you should really get your eyes checked before we leave town because you are getting closer and closer. And another one bites the dust. I don't have a lot of sleep. <laughs> Brandon keeps pulling crap out of his pocket. He's like, why do I have this? Why do I have this? Okay, I'm gonna go get him in a snack. We should have him check his blood sugar first. Oh, daddy. Do you have a fifth wheel? Yep. Doctor said, Did you have strep throat? Nope. Got COVID? Nope. Didn't test you, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think you should have gotten tested. Well, I'm in tomorrow. Yeah, but that means we're sending Ammon without him being tested. Our governor just mandated masks about 12 hours before the first day of school because he's a jerk. 